Yes, guess Eds, and welcome back to the Rose Report. It's Fred here on a very, very hot day. Could be too hot. So, uh, yeah, that explains the red face. In today's video, I'll be giving my reaction to the news that Jordan Rossiter has joined Bristol Rovers from Fleetwood Town on a two-year deal. Um, throughout this video, I'll sort of explain how I feel about it, where I think he'll fit in next season. And in the video, there will also be a special appearance from COD's Vlogs, otherwise known as Nappers, who is a big Fleetwood Town fan, and I'm sure many of you have seen his videos before. So do be sure to stick around for that. Uh, if you enjoy the video, give it a like. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And with all that being said, let's get into the video. So first up, if we take a look at Ross's playing career up until this point, um, he obviously started out at Liverpool, was touted by many, including Robbie Fowler, as the sort of a next Steven Gerrard. Um, he had a lot of injuries. I think he made five first-team appearances for Liverpool, but never really managed to break through into that team. Uh, it, it obviously shows that he had talent, that he managed to even get near that first team. So that's a positive for Rovers. But um, yeah, having left Liverpool, he's moved around a little bit. He went to go and play with Joey Barton at Rangers. Again, didn't get many minutes there. I think he only played about 10 games for them. And that is a, a theme that we see throughout Roster's career, which is a slight worry for Rovers, is that he does tend to have a bit of a bad injury record. Um, he played a few a few games at Bury, where I think he did quite well there. And then he moved on to Fleetwood Town, where he played under Barton. And yeah, he's been there for th about three seasons and has racked up, I think it's around it's either 40 or 60 odd games, which it isn't terrible. But I mean, you're sort of looking for, especially for a centre midfielder, you want a bit more consistency in the minutes over the seasons. Um, as Nappers will touch on later, I'm sure, he is a quality player on his day, but he just hasn't had that consistent run of games to showcase that. And yeah, his if you look back at his playing history, like I said, he's obviously got talent. He's been at some good clubs and people rate him, but he just hasn't been able to string those games together to really prove that he is top level, top level footballer. So yeah. So now moving on to where I think he'll fit in with the Rovers team and how I think he'll get on. So essentially, it sounds to me, and having watched a few of his performances, he is a tough tackling midfielder, you know, brings the energy to the team and he's also got quality on the ball. So, I mean, for me, he could offer a replacement for Glenn Whelan, play that sort of role. And I think you'll see a lot of that this season with him and Coote sort of rotating that role. I think... I've heard a few Fleetwood fans say that he shares a likeness to Sam Finlay. He's obviously got the same energy as Finlay and he enjoys a tackle. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see us sort of line up in a 4-2-2 formation, formation this season with Evans, Whelan, uh, not Whelan, Evans, Coots, Finlay and Finlay all in that midfield. And that might be something we see this season. Um, I think obviously the big concern when it comes to Rossiter, is his injury record. You know, there's quite a few players that you can say this for where it's, look, if they can get a run of games going, they're a quality player. But it's a bit like the Paul Pogba thing for me is on, on their day, they're a quality player. Well, yeah, on their day, but how often is that? You know, if Rossiter is a quality player, when he's fit, how often is he fit? So, I don't know. I think it's a slight gamble, but sometimes these sort of gambles pay off. You know, the obvious one for me is Billy Bowden. Prior to coming to us, horrible injury record, didn't really like stamp his mark anywhere and having got a good run of games turned out to be an exceptional player. And I think with the current medical team we have, I'm hopeful that he'll be able to get fit in pre-season and come into the season firing on all cylinders. So I think it's another great addition. You know, I put out a tweet saying, I think that midfield now is packed with energy the more defensive side of it and the more workmanlike side of it, I think we're good for. You add one more creative spark into that midfield, midfield, be it Callum Camps or Luke McCormick. I think that's a great, great midfield. I think that's definitely a top top end League One level midfield. And so, yeah, I'm I'm impressed with this recruitment. So there are my thoughts on the signing of Jordan Rossiter, but I will now hand over to my good friend Nappers, who will give us a bit of a perspective from someone who's been watching Jordan Ross to play for the last three seasons. And yeah, a bit of an inside scoop, shall we say. So over to you, Nappers. 
A bit about Jordan Rossiter for you. Again, very good player, warrior like, never gives up. Energy is, you know, top notch. For me, one of the best players in this league for a reason. Um, but he's played less than 100 games in nine, 10 years. He played 60, 65 games for us in his three years. First season, he was good till about November, lost his place uh, due to injury, never came back. Second season, brilliant. Again, played a lot of games under the lockdown period. This year played 10 times, got injured, was meant to be back in November, never came back. And that's the problem with him. You can keep him fit. He's an excellent player. He, he is a gamble. He's still a young young lad as well for for a player at this level. Um, it will improve you, but you know you could do worse in the midfielder. Finley, Rossiter, Coote. Um, you know, those types of players. You've got a really good player there. And I honestly do wish him all the best because I genuinely think he is a very, very good player and a good lad. And most important, a good character, a Joey Barton character. So there we have it, Gasheads. You've heard my opinions, you've heard Nappers, and it sounds like what we have all sort of known about Rossiter is that he is a great player, but he needs to stay fit. So fingers crossed he does. Like I said, let me know your thoughts on this below in the comments. Do you think it's too much of a gamble? Are you frustrated that we paid a fee for a player who might not get as many minutes as you might like? Um, yeah, leave them all below. Like I said, I'll leave a link to Napa's channel in the description below as well. I really appreciate him coming on, so do go and check him out. And be sure to subscribe. Have a nice day, Gasheads, and I will see you later.